Hi, thanks for checking out Video Notebook. If the Video Notebook extension is installed, it will show this VN button in the upper right corner of any video, provided the web page is on our list of approved domains, YouTube, Udemy, Coursera, and others. Also, you'll see a larger VN button in the upper right of a window of a Google Meet meeting, so you can take notes on Google Meet meetings. But right now I want to talk about taking notes on videos like YouTube videos. So uh, this is a video about uh, the Ukraine uh, and Russia-Ukraine war. Um, and I can click on this VN button at any time to open the VN window, start taking notes, start taking screenshots. Uh, but also, it's watching all the time. You can see the VN changed to a 1. That means that we detected a slide. And I can click there, and now you see I can save that capture slide, or I can hide it. I'll save it. Um, I can also take screenshots on my own by either clicking this camera icon or typing Option S or Alt S. So I'll type Option S, and I've got a screenshot. Notice every time I take a screenshot or take a note, which I'll do in a second, um, I can uh, I generate this, this time code, and I can go back to that point in the video just by clicking there which I did there. Um, and the video is playing still. So I can add a note by clicking in here, or I can type Option Z or uh, Alt Z in Windows. Um, and uh, if I type Option X or Alt X, I can take a note without pausing the video. So I'm going to pause the video. Um, I'm going to do an Option Z. And the video is paused. Um, Michael McFall, um, and I can also style that text if I want, and notice the, the uh, text note goes in the order, uh, in time code order. Um, I can also mark up any of the uh, screenshots that I, that I took, um, either a screenshot or a, a slide that was captured. I'll click here on this marker, and uh, I've got a bunch of tools at my disposal. I'm going to use the highlighter, and I'm going to highlight this part and if I click check then those changes will be recorded and there I go I've, I've highlighted that now you, you see this name up here um, it says unfiled that means that uh, it's not in any uh, particular notebook that I've created um, but I can I can move this to let's call it fun stuff it's my fun um, videos that I created that have a lot of uh, really interesting things my fun, my fun notebook. Uh, I can also, if I go back here, I can change the name of the video now. Video. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, also, I can uh, share the video um, by clicking here, and I can email it to people, or I could just copy a link to that. And when someone receives uh, this link, they can watch my notes um, uh, with the video. And I could, I could actually, I'll show that right now. I'll copy the link and I'll open a new incognito window. And if I paste it here, you'll see that anybody can watch this video. And I could, this new person can, uh, can take their notes as well by signing up, but they don't have to sign up. They could just watch the video and they could jump to any point in the video. Just by clicking there. So I'm going to close this and go back. Okay. Um, also, in this uh, title bar, I can go to the web app. The web app shows all the videos and all the notes that I've taken uh, with the video notebook extension. So this shows in our web app uh, the same video and there's the notes that I took, and I can click on any, any of these points to, uh, to go to that point in the video. I can also do a couple other things. I can export. Uh, well, share I showed you before. Uh, I can export. So I can export to a PDF file or a markup file. Um, I can also search within this video. So there are 837 captions in this video. Uh, that's because we automatically download captions for videos on certain websites like Udemy uh, and, and YouTube. Um, captions are uh, the lines from the transcript, and so I can find all instances of, say, Putin. 
There we go. Um, all the instances of when Putin was mentioned. And then I could click on one of these to play from that point. So it's playing the video from that point. Also notice, uh, either with uh, hits on a search or just with my notes, there's always one of these icons. I can copy a link uh, to that timestamp. And then when I send that to somebody, um, that person will be able to watch the video from that point. So very, very convenient. I can also search, if I uh, get out of here, go back to my notebooks. This is, this is my list of all notebooks, right? And I told, told you fun stuff is uh, where I moved that video about uh, the Ukraine war by Michael McFall. I can search the entire fun stuff, uh, the entire notebook, and I could look for Ukraine. And I'll find all videos that have Ukraine mentioned either in the captions or in my notes. And I could play any of those videos. Uh, also, if I click here, this is, this is Peter Zahan, I can actually go right to the points in the video where Ukraine was mentioned. So, uh, lots of power here, uh, lots of great things. Uh, the video notebook extension helps you to take screenshots and notes from your online meetings and videos. And then the video notebook web app helps you organize these videos so you can remember the most important parts of them. Video notebook, visual notes for visual thinkers.